This is the Orbis Spirit of Amelia. She's based on the Corvette of the same name from my novel Ravens of Eternity. In the novel, she acts as the first multi-crew ship that the protagonists get their hands on. Though she's an older ship and what one would describe as a beater vehicle, she turns out to be incredibly capable, reliable, and tough. More than that, she acts as home for the main characters and is analogous to a small apartment that four close friends might share. To achieve similar vibes, the spirit of Amelia in Empyrean is as small as a capital vessel can get. This makes the ship very cozy and tight on space. And because she's an older design, her parts just aren't the best. In fact, you'll probably want to upgrade them as soon as you can. The Spirit of Amelia is designed to be a starter capital vessel, one that a solo, duo, or small team could use as a mobile base. And they only have to be 15th level to be able to unlock her. Enough chit chat, let's take a tour! There are two entrances in the port side of the ship. One armor door and one large shutter door. Just inside is a large constructor next to the main storage block. There's space up above for expansion should you need it. Here, close to the doors, is an oxygen station and repair station. There's a large cargo box here that can be easily replaced with dedicated wood and ore storage. To the right is dedicated ammo storage, as well as a generic cargo pallet meant for day-to-day -day use. Beyond the cargo bay is electronics. This is home to the core, CPU extenders, detector, wireless, RCS, oxygen tanks, and ventilator. Let's get to the rear of the ship. Back here is engineering. It features a gravity generator, four tier one large generators, a tier one shield generator, and a warp drive. Off to the side here is the prepare console and repair bay. Let's take the elevator to the upper deck and continue to tour engineering. To the rear are fuel and pentaxin tanks along with just enough space to install one or two more components. Going towards the front of the ship we come to the crew area. To the right is medical where our clone chamber is as well as two medical stations. On the other side is an armor locker, food processor, and fridge. Down here is the cockpit, which is protected by armored glass windows. It features two pilot seats and two passenger seats. This setup allows either of the two pilots to fly the ship, freeing up the other three to operate the turrets. There are two aggressively placed turrets up front, and a more defensive flak turret on top. Speaking of flying, the Spirit of Amelia has numerous thrusters for full 6 degrees of freedom. This setup makes her rather fast in a forward line, but not very agile or maneuverable in exchange. She has 8 medium main thrusters, and 4 medium retro thrusters. She also has 24 small thrusters spread evenly across her top, bottom, port, and starboard sides. The Orbis Spirit of Amelia is available in the Steam Workshop, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And if you've already flown the ship with your friends, let me know what you think down in the comments. Peace.